Man, I went to go hit record and I had a sneeze attack. Happy Wednesday. I did not record anything yesterday, but I'm going to give you a little ant update first. On Monday evening, I was in the kitchen about 8.30 and I was getting a water out of the refrigerator and Dad's cell phone ring, which is in a drawer right by there. So I opened it up and I look in there and it was Greg calling. I'm like, oh no, I hope something didn't happen to Aunt Jenny. And I answered, I'm like, hello. And I hear, hey, Stacy, how are you, honey? And I'm like, hi, Aunt Jenny. The better question is, how are you? I'm feeling better. <laughs> I said, do you want to talk to your brother? Oh, yeah. And um, she talked to Dad for a while. And Dad said, can I talk to Greg for a minute? So Dad talked to Greg for a while. And um, then he went back to Jenny to say goodbye. But she sounded so much better. Dad's like, if you would have seen her Sunday when we got there, it did not look good. But um, he kept saying, he keeps saying that. But she sounded really good. Even though, you know, she's not on her psych meds right now. But hopefully when they get this infection under control, she can get back on her psych meds. But it was nice to hear her talk and talk well. And uh, sounding good. I guess they had video chatted with Ron down in... Mexico. I talked to him for yesterday morning. Me and him touched base. I said, hey, you got one more week. Just enjoy it. Don't worry about the grind when you get back. I said, everybody's keeping in touch with you about your mom. I said, just enjoy it. They all went to the dentist down in Mexico because it's so much cheaper. <laughs> uh, I think Michelle went to the eye doctor and got eyeglasses because they were picking those up yesterday. So, yeah. And Jenny is doing pretty good. Now we just got to see what kind of rehab they're going to get her in and where. And I have a situation. Yesterday I laid in bed in the afternoon a lot because Stacy has a boil, a hair that got affected to a boil in an area that is not so fun. That I, I Yesterday I called and talked to the triage nurse at my gynecologist and I said, okay, here's what's going on. I've been prone to get boils my whole life and every few years I get a really bad one and this is the time of getting at a really bad one but it's right in a spot like sitting uh it's not too bad right now every once in a while I'll just I'll bounce around like this go maybe it'll pop <laughs> um I've done warm soaks I'm trying to get it to express but I talked to the triage nurse yesterday I was hoping I could get in today to get it lanced there was no appointments today at all and then Thursday and Friday she's at the hospital um so I got an appointment Monday morning, but if I can get it to express itself and get it under control myself, I'll cancel the appointment. But if not, they're going to lance that puppy. Um, so yeah, it's been joyous. Joyous! But part of life, things happen. Dad's off running an errand right now while he's working. He had to run, uh, he works for the car guy in town. He had to run him over to another place to pick up a different car. So he should be home in a little bit. And then we're going to go run errands. Got This is my first day out since I went to the um, grocery store the other day. But today we're going to go take payroll to the shop. Uh, I'm going to jump on the bypass and go over and go to Aldi. I want some vegetables and I want to get some ranch. I haven't ever had ranch in the house in a long time. And here lately, I've wanted to dip my carrots in the ranch and I don't have any. So I've just been dry dogging the carrots and just... <sighs> I'm going to get some ranch. Uh, uh, and then I want to go to Martin's because <coughs> today's sushi special day because this girl is going to have sushi today. Try a sushi. Um, so yeah, I've done a little work. Just got out of the shower. My hair is still soaking wet. Uh, but I feel fresh like a daisy. So yeah, that's what's happening. I got to get my bras ear on. And get ready for dad to, when he gets home we're off off to see the wizard well dad will see amy <laughs> amy's about the only person at the office in, unless there's one of the guys around um but amy's holding down the fort she's just the sweetest person amy is so sweet but all right i'll be back here's the snow situation now it's mainly green <laughs> we're going down here so yeah, snow is pretty much well gone. Now we're gonna hit the road. Just got down out of Aldi while we were in there. On the way in, Dad got a call. And I said, who's that? He goes, that was Ron. 
they're doing some kind of survey on Denny right now to it's just not looking the best right now they need a surgery to work or she's not gonna live something to do with getting this antibiotics in her system better because it isn't working through the IV they have to I don't know I don't know it's just uh we're just waiting for another call she's in surgery now so yeah it's just a crazy situation okay we just booked it home Dad's going to take a quick shower. His niece is coming to get him. He's got his medicine over there to take with him to the hospital in case he's got to spend the night. Here is my complete Aldi haul. Pita chips with some garlic hummus. Some broccoli crowns. Dad likes English muffins. He bought himself some of these for breakfast. I got a thing of tomato and sweet basil soup. Uh, for Dad and I to share one night with grilled cheese. Got some buttermilk ranch to go with some vegetables. I got me some trail mix, Caesar salad, cotton candy grapes, carrots, uh, peppers, and some Ziplocs. And Dad got some French vanilla creamer. Hang on. I really wanted to get some celery, but they were completely out. I found where the celery was supposed to be, and it's a big, vast, empty void. Um, but when we got that, you know, when we come out of Aldi, we were going to go to Martin's to pick up bread, eggs, celery, today's sushi day, but when we drove by, we just saw it was packed. We're like, we're just going home. Go home. So then as soon as he ran into the bathroom to take a shower, I called Barb. I said, we're home now. You could head this way. So yeah, but I got to get this put together. I'm going to clean vegetables here in a few. Um, rinse my grapes, clean my carrots. So I have carrots, peppers, and broccoli, although I think I'm going to steam broccoli. Um, I'm going to wash it and get it. I don't know what I'm doing. It's just kind of a big fuzzy mess right now with everything going on with Aunt Jenny. It's just crazy. Okay, bye. I just had a random call from, she's not related to us, but she's at the hospital right now with Jenny. Because Greg's not there. It would be Greg's sister-in-law. Because Carlene's sister. Because I answered, she goes, hi, uh, this is, um... <laughs> And she was trying to explain who she was. She goes, I'm calling for I'm calling for Virginia. She wants to talk to her brother. And I'm like, he's on his way there. He'll be there soon. Um, so, well, like an hour and a half soon. She's like, oh, okay, I'll let her know then. And I'm like, yeah, he, they're on their way. They're driving there right now. She's like, okay. So that means she's at least alert and awake after her surgery. And because uh, dad's like, I don't know if we're going to spend the night or not. He, he's going prepared. He's, if he has to stay there with his sister, he will. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I could hear her in the background talking a little bit. I don't, I, can't, I don't know what this lady's name was. Her first name. I can't remember what she said. She was so trying to figure out how to explain who she was. <laughs> um, so, I'm getting ready to clean vegetables. Up first, I think I'm going to do my peppers. And then I always like to do carrots last because that orange stuff gets everywhere. Then I, and then I'll do broccoli. The broccoli looked really good today. Dad, these for a buck something, so I got two. Dad come walking through the kitchen, he goes, oh, that broccoli looks good. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I know. He goes, are you going to steam some with cheese for us sometime? <laughs> I might. Uh... Gosh, it's got to be after 3 in the afternoon. I still haven't eaten anything today, but it's just been one of those days where it's like, once I get my vegetables clean, then I'll figure out. Maybe I'll just have a Stouffer's frozen dinner. I have a few of those in there. They're always good in a pinch. That's what I had last night. Um, maybe I'll throw another piece of garlic bread on my griddle. I really do love that thing. Whoever you are, you're the best. Okay, gotta go, bye. It's Thursday, so I gotta wipe you off. See, so yeah, I might have doing work. Um, yeah, I got home about 10.30 last night. And now we're at the upswing again. It's like, it's, she's very up and down, up and down. But they think they have, I just got a text from my cousin Greg. He spent the whole night there last night. They think they got her dialed in. 
They're going to take out her neck catheter and see what happens with her blood pressure and hopefully get out of ICU today and go to in a general hospital room. And she's going to have a physical therapist come in today to see how she does standing. And so, yeah. It's just been like a roller coaster. But I'm at my desk doing work. And I've already got the stuff done at the computer. But now I'm at maybe writing out a deposit, a few bills, two tow bills, because there have been two wench outs. So I knew it was going to happen after that, at that, after that freezing. I knew some, some of our guys were going to get stuck. I don't know who is responsible for these two bills, but yeah. We have, let's see, this wench out cost $200, and this one costs $250. So I saw it coming, but all right. See you later. Okay, I'm so in a dark room. I'm so sorry. This is just a little bit of an update. Today is Friday evening, if you can't tell because it is dark. What time is it? 6.30. 6.30. Um, they were moving my aunt out of ICU today. She was going to go to a regular room. She, she uh, has called us from her hospital room. She is feeling... She's on an upswing right now, so hopefully we will not have another roller coaster ride. Um, I have been very uncomfortable the last couple days because of my situation down in my pubis area. I can't wait till Monday um, because, man. I did get a drawing salve. I have tried to draw it out. Um, it's just very painful. Although, it's, when I'm sitting here in the recliner, the angle I set here, I kind of cock my butt down and I, I, I lean back. Well, this chair doesn't lean back, but I, how I sit makes it feel better. Setting my wheelchair is horrible. Horrible. When I have to go to the restroom, I just prepare myself mentally. I'm like, okay. Come on, you wouldn't do it. And then I'll ease myself down in the chair and I'm like, oh, ah, ah, yeah, ooh, ooh. <laughs> The thing that bums me out is the weather is so beautiful. And I had hoped to do go out and do a few things before Ron got back from vacation and just have a few nice days of just being out and maybe not even having to wear a coat. Well, just my thermal like normal. I'm not a big co-wearer. And I just can't. The thought of sitting in my van. Um, Wednesday was very uncomfortable to do it when we had to take payroll to the shop. And I'm like, yeah, this can't. I can't. No. So, needless to say, I'll get up. In the mornings, I'll get up and get into my chair. And, uh. I'll try to wiggle around and get into some sort of comfortable-ish position, and then I'll do work, and then I'll do that until I can't take it no more. And I'm like, I'm out. I gotta lay down. I gotta, I've gotta get off my Gucci, man. Oh, I hate the fact that I get carbuncles, because I can tell it's a carbuncle. I can tell there's several chambers. Huh. I know TMI, but that's my life right now. So. Yeah. Oh, me and Dad have come to the realization that Kitty can't hear as well as she used to. I've wondered why here in the last few months I can go into my bedroom and she can be asleep and I can do things around the room and it she's she doesn't know I'm there until I go up and like touch her and then she'll jump like huh and back in the day any kind of little noise and she was on it she's like what's happening and Dad was uh, she went out the kitchen door I'm pointing to it it's back right there um and he went to go let her back in and she was sitting there but her back was to the door so she didn't hear the door open and she didn't hear my dad calling her and then she, she finally kind of looked and saw movement and saw dad and dad's like I don't think your cat hears that well anymore and I'm like I think you're probably right because I've noticed that she just doesn't 
hear me when I come in my room when she's when she's asleep. Like that one time when I videoed it, I'm like, is she alive? This is so darn dark. I'm so sorry. Next weekend's her birthday. 17. <sighs> All right. I'm going to get whatever clips I have together and upload it tomorrow. I already got my clothes laid out on my desk to take a really hot shower in the morning. Dad leaves. Let's see. Play cards at noon. He'll probably leave about 1030 or 11. Um, they have a big tournament thing up the road where they play cards and they have a little potluck and all that good stuff. So he'll be gone most of the afternoon. And uh, so I'll just chill out. Maybe in my recliner since that's the most comfortable chair. Either recliner or the toilet. The toilet's comfortable also because you're on a ring. <laughs> so... <laughs> <sighs> and I can also tell probably after I get that situation sorted out, I'm going to have to call my orthopedist to get shots in my knees because it's been July, August, September, October, November, December, January. Um, uh, and it's seven going on, it'll be eight, let's see, July, August, September. I had it done in June, sometime in June. So July and August, September, October, November, December, January. So I just finished seven months. I'm into my eighth month. And that's how for how long they lasted last time. And I don't want them to get as bad as last time before I realize I need shots. And um, so once I'm feeling better from this, I'm going to make an appointment to get shots in my knees. Just to get them juiced up for the spring, man. You know, you got to do that maintenance. <laughs> Okay, I'll talk at you all later. Have a good weekend. It's Friday, Friday. I'm watching a dateline. Uh, it's almost over. I think the son did it. Well, the son and his wife, you know. Okay, bye.